Hello. The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success First Part The Seven Spiritual Laws are powerful principles you can use to fulfill your deepest desires with effortless joy. If you put them into practice, you'll realize that you can manifest whatever you've been dreaming about. Many of us grew up with the belief that achieving success requires relentless hard work, grim determination, and intense ambition. As a result, we may have struggled for years and even reached some of our goals, but wound up feeling exhausted, our lives out of balance. As Deepak Chopra observes in his transformational work, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success, such desperate striving isn't necessary, or even desirable. In the natural world, creation comes forth with ease. A seed doesn't struggle to become a tree, it simply unfolds in grace. The Seven Spiritual Laws are powerful principles you can use to fulfill your deepest desires with effortless joy. If you put them into practice, you'll realize that you can manifest whatever you've been dreaming about. Fortunately, the laws of success aren't difficult or mysterious but are easy to understand and apply. There are also many ways for you to learn more about using the seven spiritual laws to attract the life you truly want, and right here is a great place to begin. 1. Sunday. The Law of Pure Potentiality. Take time to be silent, to just be. Meditate for 30 minutes twice a day. Silently witness the intelligence within every living thing. Practice non-judgment. The source of all creation is pure consciousness, pure potentiality seeking expression, from the unmanifest to the manifest. And when we realize that our true self is one of pure potentiality, we align with the power that manifests everything in nature. I will put the law of pure potentiality into effect by making a commitment to take the following steps. 1. I will get in touch with the field of pure potentiality by taking time each day to be silent, to just be. I will also sit alone in silent meditation at least twice a day for approximately 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the evening. 2. I will take time each day to commune with nature and to silently witness the intelligence within every living thing. I will sit silently and watch a sunset or listen to the sound of the ocean or a stream, or simply smell the scent of a flower. In the ecstasy of my own silence, and by communing with nature, I will enjoy the life throb of ages, the field of pure potentiality, and unbounded creativity. 3. I will practice non-judgment. I will begin my day with a statement, today. I shall judge nothing that occurs, and throughout the day I will remind myself not to judge. 2. Monday, the law of giving. Today, bring whomever you encounter a gift, a compliment or flower. Gratefully receive gifts. Keep wealth circulating by giving and receiving care, affection, appreciation and love. The law of giving and receiving. The universe operates through dynamic exchange, giving and receiving are different aspects of the flow of energy. Why in the universe? And in our willingness to give that which we seek, we keep the abundance of the universe circulating in our lives. I will put the law of giving and receiving into effect by making a commitment to take the following steps. 1. Wherever I go, and whomever I encounter, I will bring them a gift. The gift may be a compliment, a flower, or a prayer. Today, I will give something to everyone I come into contact with. And so I will begin the process of circulating joy, wealth, and affluence in my life and in the lives of others. 2. Today I will gratefully receive all the gifts that life has to offer me. I will receive the gifts of nature, sunlight, the sound of birds singing, spring showers, or the first snow of winter. I will also be open to receiving from others, whether it be in the form of a material gift, money, a compliment, or a prayer. 3. I will make a commitment to keep wealth circulating in my life by giving and receiving life's most precious gifts, the gifts of caring, affection, appreciation, and love. 
Each time I meet someone, I will silently wish them happiness, joy, and laughter. Three, Tuesday, the law of karma. Every action generates a force of energy that returns to us in like kind. Choosing actions that bring happiness and success to others ensures the flow of happiness and success to you. The law of karma, or cause and effect. Every action generates a force of energy that returns to us in like kind. What we sow is what we reap. And when we choose actions that bring happiness and success to others, the fruit of our karma is happiness and success. I will put the law of karma into effect by making a commitment to take the following steps. 1. Today I will witness the choices I make in each moment. And in the mere witnessing of these choices, I will bring them to my conscious awareness. I will know that the best way to prepare for any moment in the future is to be fully conscious in the present. 2. Whenever I make a choice, I will ask myself two questions. What are the consequences of this choice that I'm making? And will this choice bring fulfillment and happiness to me and also to those who are affected by this choice? 3. I will then ask my heart for guidance and be guided by its message of comfort or discomfort. If the choice feels comfortable, I will plunge ahead with abandon. If the choice feels uncomfortable, I will pause and see the consequences of my action with my inner vision. This guidance will enable me to make spontaneously correct choices for myself and for all those around me. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe.